Hey, what's going on everybody? Chato here with Chato Labs. And today I'm going to show you how to create a really basic calculator application with Proton Native. Um, I'll give you some disclaimers. I mean, it seems like the library is obviously pretty, pretty new. Um, there are a bunch of things I couldn't do the way I wanted to. So this ends up really kind of just being a how to build a calculator with React JS tutorial. Um, but it's really basic and I was able to kind of dig through the library. I love what these guys are doing. I think this has a lot of potential, um, but still a little bit rough around the edges um, for obvious reasons. They don't even have um, a, a official release on the GitHub page yet. So um, it's being worked on. And um, if you can submit any pull requests, if I get an opportunity to submit pull requests, that always helps. Um, my name's Chato, I'm with Chato Labs. We work with entrepreneurs to build their apps and their websites. Um, if you need help with the project, um, get in touch in the description below. And with no further ado, let's go ahead and get this started. So what you'll see is, um, I've already kind of stubbed out a lot of the, the calculator application. Um, and I've done it all in one file just to keep things really simple. Um, so you'll see a lot of the functions I've already kind of predefined, um, just haven't filled out yet. Uh, make sure you have um, your um, a text, a text component imported, um, button component, box component, and dialog component. Um, it's one of those things where it'll be easy to forget, and if you forget, then you'll spend way too much time debugging, and that sucks for everybody. <laughs> I've I've been there. So uh, first thing we want to do is. Um, we want to kind of lay out our calculator. Um, I got a little bit frustrated here. We're not frustrated, but I wasn't able to do what I wanted to do here um, because the the grid the grid component seemed to be broken on Mac OS, and that's what I'm using right now. Um, but with that being said, there's, there's currently, as of the time I'm recording this, there's currently an issue on GitHub, um, so it's being worked on. Um, I think it's one of those complicated issues to debug just due to the way um, OS X or Mac OS does something. Um, so I'm sure I'll be fixed in the future. Um, so that being said, I ended up just stacking the buttons on top of each other. And I'm not a Proton native expert, um, I won't claim to be. Um, so maybe there's another way to do this um, that I just wasn't aware of. Um, something else I tried was using a, um, instead of using buttons, because I couldn't figure out how to resize the buttons, right? Um, instead of using buttons, I tried using um, an area, area rectangle to create like fake buttons, um, but those didn't have on click handlers and um, I couldn't get the text to overlay on top of those rectangles unless I wanted to get really creative and use like an SVG um, drawing of each number, which I wasn't going to do. Um, so we've got a pretty lame layout. Um, so let's go ahead and hop into it. So first we want to start with a text, um, a little text component here. This is where we're going to display um, our equation, right? Um, and then obviously, um, we need a bunch of buttons for all the numbers we're going to be using. So you can go ahead and get that, get that punched in. Um, you'll see in each of these numbers, um, zero through nine, I have this append to calculation function. Like I said, this is a really basic calculator function. So all I did was I just append, I append whatever is pressed to a string. Um, so I can use that later in one of the eve in an eval function. Um, and then same thing way down here get that done for each of those operators, plus, minus, multiplication, divide, then also um, some grouping operators here. And then uh, uh, the last two things, are we need a button for calculate. Um, so that says, hey, we're ready. So go ahead and uh, get, us, get us the result and update the display. So do one here, just equal sign, obviously. And then we also need a clear all button. I could have got more creative and added like a delete backspace button, but that's kind of trivial and not really what I was trying to display here. With this, I was really just trying to play with, play with Proton Native and see what the friction would be like for creating a really basic application like this. Um, and I, I personally found a lot of friction, um, but once again, it's because it's new. I know it's gonna get better. I hope it will get better. Um, and I'm rooting for the, for, the con for the contributors and maintainers. Okay, and so now that we've got all those things, um, you can go ahead and save it. Hopefully nothing breaks. Bloom, ah, start. Where's my application? And you'll get, you'll get something like this, um, but it shouldn't do anything yet, right? You click on things and nothing happens because we haven't really set up any of the functions in the on-click handlers. So let's go ahead and stop that. It's not useful in this state. 
Um, fun fact, um, when I was working on this, I was a little bit um, confused as to how I was supposed to output my, my um, like console.log things, um, obviously because we're not in like a web browser setting, and it hit me, obviously it's going to go into the, um, the node console. So you can console.log, um, don't let that slip past you. One of those trivial things, but easy to overlook. So um, now we need to start uh, connecting some things. So the obvious thing we need to do to get started is um, set up our constructor. And so we need our constructor to first store the initial state of the, the display, right? Or whatever we're gonna be using for the calculation. Um, so this dot state, and I apologize, it's like old syntax or something. Um, I actually don't do as much coding as I used to. Um, so maybe I'm a little bit behind. Uh, my bad if I am display and display default. Um, so I set a little variable up here, display default, just so I could change it to anything like, um, hello calculator master, or get started, or let's do this. Um, right now I just have it blank, um, because even though I thought I was gonna be creative, I didn't feel like being that creative. And then also we need to bind each of these, clear all, each of these functions, um, so we can use access like the, the set state, um, set state uh, function um, from within those functions later. Uh, so what is it? This dot clear all dot I guess bind, I think. I think that's it. Yes. Bind. And then we'll go ahead and do that for the others as well. Append to calc. Dot bind. This man, my spelling is not uh, a student status. It's like F student status. It's terrible. Uh, one more than uh, render. Let's just save some time here this time. Should have done that to begin with. Boom. Oops, not render. Calculate. Okay, that's gold. That looks right. I think I got that correct. Um, so now we we have the we have the um, constructor ready. Um, display default is set to nothing, um, but our functions still aren't doing anything. So first, this is the easy one, right? So clear all. All this is going to do is this dot set state back to the default, right? So ba ba. What are we doing? Uh, display, display, default. And then append to calculation. This is also gonna be kind of, kind of trivial. Um, so, and I apologize if these aren't named well. So we'll just call this new calc, right? Um, yeah, that sounds fine. Um, then if this uh, dot state dot display equals, let's get triple equals in there, display default. If it equals display default, that means nothing's being clicked yet. And so we don't want to start off the equation with like a, a little welcome message. So we'll just um, set the new calc equal to value. And so, um, and each of these buttons, whenever the buttons are pressed, what comes through on the buttons is just the value that's um, the children of the button. That's what I've, I've realized. Um, first, I was trying to hit it with like an E target value, like I would do in React, um, but that's not the case here. Value is just going to come through um, through the function as the as the um, parameter. So it's simple. Just set that to that. But um, if uh, caps lock, if we have a situation where we already have like calculations we've started. So we have like zero plus one plus nine, zero plus, it's, it's useless. Um, we wanna keep all that before we add the extra stuff. So now we wanna say new calc equals value, oh, this dot state dot uh, display plus value. That makes sense? So we just, we're just adding it on to the end. It's gonna be a string um, and that's fine. That will be, that'll work just fine in the eval function. Then here we need to set the state. Uh, display new calc. 
That should work like a charm. So let's see if it does. We're gonna test um, to see if the buttons work and then also test to see if clear all works. So let's do this. Boom. Could be way faster. All right, there we go. Um, oh, embarrassing, does not work. So let's see, let's see what I broke here, all right. Back. There it is, the obvious. Um, in text, we obviously need to set this dot state dot display, right? So that will make whatever the state is of display show up at the top of our calculator. Let's try that again, right? That should work this time. I'm confident. Boom. Hey, so now we can do whatever we want. Uh, plus, uh, minus 200. So that's cool. But if you press equal, nothing happens. So let's go ahead and just set up our, hook up our eval function um, to do the final touch, touches, and then clear all. That works as well. We are doing good. So bang, bang, bang. Clear all is already hooked up. So now what does clear all need to do? Well, two things. One, we need it to, um, um, what does clear all, what does calculate need to do? One, we need to actually um, do the calculation. But then two, if the, if the calculation is misformatted, if the equation is misformatted, we'll need it to just show a dialog saying, hey, you messed up, you can't put uh, open parenthesis before closing parenthesis or, or whatever, um, or closing parenthesis before open parenthesis. So let's just change the orders to make this a little bit less confusing. And like I said, this is not a foolproof calculator. This is a really basic example and just really a way to play with Proton Native and see, see what kind of basic application we can build. So we'll just wrap it up in a try catch, right? Uh, catch. Here. Bam. And then here, we'll say dialog. Um, you entered an ill formatted equation, please start over. A nice and annoying message which removes everything you did. Everybody loves that. And then what do we need to do? What do we need to do? Let calculation. Because eval this dot state dot display this dot set state display calculation yeah and it, hey maybe that could be like one one line uh, whatever I'm not trying to get into a theory right now um, nor test it I'm just gonna make this work so I think we've got it right uh, I think we've got it let's see let's give it a try come on open up Sweet, so one plus nine equals 10. That's fantastic. Well, it's not that fantastic. Times 74 equals, still good. Let's see what happens if we try and uh, mess it up. Okay, I have no idea why dialogue didn't work. Um, maybe I messed up something in the syntax. Um, maybe there's another glitch in uh, Proton Native. I'm not sure. Um, if you know what's going on, let me know in the comments. Um, but that's what I've got. That's a basic calculator application in Proton Native that can whip up in like like 10, 15 minutes. Really, really straightforward. Um, overall, it's still a very premature library. I think it's got a lot going for its future. Um, but there are some bugs and some kinks that will need to be worked out um, for different operating systems and different functions that need to be clarified. Um, like one thing I ran into was um, setting the window size and window height. Um, I don't see why I'm doing that because it seems like it gets ignored every time I every time I add a new component to that to that application. Um, or so I could lock the screen, right? So like if you have a calculator application, it'll be nice to be able to just lock it. Especially if you're talking about desktop, so it's not moving all around and set messing up the layout. Um, what else? Um, there was like the stretchy prop that's supposed to be a universal prop that I tried to add to buttons to kind of prevent it from stretching and going going on infinitely. 
Um, that didn't seem to work. Um, so ultimately there are a bunch of things that didn't seem to work. It could be me just messing things up. Um, I like to think I'm pretty good at going through documentation. Sometimes I miss things. I think it's a great, a great library with lots of potential, but I wouldn't use it for a huge project just yet. I think you may find yourself a little bit frustrated. Um, that's what I've got. Once again, my name's Shado. I create uh, technology videos and, and test out whatever's kind of trending on GitHub, write a getting started guide, um, create a really basic tutorial, that sort of thing. So if you think you'd enjoy more videos like this, please subscribe right there. And if you need help with the project um, for an app, web application, whatever, uh, let me know in the description below and I will catch you later. Uh, thanks guys.